Hey guys, Joe Workman here, and in this video, I'm going to do a full-blown demo of the new portal stack. So the portal stack is actually super easy to use. What it does is super complex. Um, and as the old adage says, making something simple is not easy, right? So portal is super simple to use, um, but it is anything but simple. So what does portal do for us, right? Uh, you've probably checked out the sales video by now, but uh, just a quick overview. Portal allows us to basically use Stacks partials, uh, but on the server, right? So first off, let me say that hopefully you've been using Rapweaver for a while and you've already used and love Stacks partials. If you do not know what a Stacks partial is, um, please stop what you're doing. Um, don't look at the stack any longer, go look at what partials can do and learn how to really leverage them. Okay. They're really important for the rap weaver workflow and for stacks. Um, they're very powerful and, uh, you should really be using partials, uh, to make your websites, um, better and easier to maintain. So chances are, if you're, if you have a large website, what you're doing is, uh, you have your footer inside of a partial. That's a common one, right? Because chances are your footer ac across your entire site is going to be the same, right? Now, if you are going to want to update your footer, uh, you just change the partial. And what Stacks does is it updates the entire website for you. And so that you only have to make the change once. You don't have to go to every single page and make changes. Brilliant. But for large websites, you probably notice that you have to re-upload pretty much the entire website all over again, uh, just for one change in your footer partial. Now, for some people that can take a very long time. And so this is pretty, the primary use case of why I created Portal, okay? It allows us to um, basically have server side partials. So what happens is, uh, let's say I have a single footer page Okay, then I, it's slightly different, right? You include uh, with a portal stack, you import it into all your various pages. And if you publish that one footer page, it basically is included on all the other pages on the server. So in, in the footer scenario, you just simply update the footer page, publish that to your server, and all of the pages that import it will magically be updated immediately, right? Very cool. It's very powerful. And there's some other, actually some really nice side benefits of this as well. Because essentially what Stacks does, okay, when we create a Stacks page, is it's bundling all the CSS and JavaScript for us for the entire page and then publishing that. It's very nice. It is an amazing feat. Um, it's great. Now, a benefit of having, of using Portal is basically, let's take for example, our footer again. When we create a page for our footer that we can then import into other pages, Stacks is creating its own JavaScript and CSS files just for that footer area and publishing those CSS and JavaScript files to the server separately. Now, when we import this footer into all of our other pages, What's happening is instead of the, the JavaScript and CSS for that footer being inside of the page specific JavaScript, right? It's gonna import the same exact JavaScript and CSS code from the footer page. Why is that powerful, you may ask? Well, because if you're including this footer on all your pages, that JavaScript and CSS is gonna be cached by the browser. And that essentially means that it's gonna be subsequent page views are gonna be a lot faster because it doesn't need to download that CSS and JavaScript again, right? And it's not just for JavaScript and CSS, it also includes images that are on the page as well, which is really cool. So you may not know, but if you include an image inside of a partial, that same image actually isn't referenced many times, right? It's not referenced, one image isn't referenced. It's not like warehousing, essentially, if you have a partial that's loaded on a hundred pages, that's a hundred different images on your site. But with portal, when you, when you import with portal, you're going to be referencing the one central image that is stored inside portal. So again, we get to benefit from browser caching because that same image is then going to be referenced on all the pages. 
So as you see, not only can Portal help us with publishing time and maybe optimizing our workflows, but it will also make our websites faster because we can leverage browser cache by breaking our websites up into smaller pieces and then including them um, throughout many pages. So I hope that is a really good overview of what Portal can do for you. And again, if you haven't used partials yet, please stop what you're doing and go learn partials and use those before you try to tackle something like Portal, okay? Um, so without further ado, I'm gonna, we're gonna jump on in and do a quick demo of Portal. Like I said, it's super easy to use um, and I'm really excited to see what you're gonna do with this and how it benefits your websites. So here's the portal demo file that ships with the portal stacks and theme. Now there's three components to portal, okay? You'll notice if you're in your stacks library, there are two different stacks. There's portal in and portal out, okay? Now there's also a portal theme, okay? Now this is a very important aspect of portal, okay? So to start off with, we're gonna start with the portal in page. Essentially what this page is, this is the stuff that we're gonna to wanna to import into another page, right? So this could be the thing like your footer, like we were talking about earlier as a good example is a footer, right? It's, this is gonna be the content that we're gonna import into other pages. So you have to have the portal in stack on the page. And another important aspect is you have to set, it is very important as it says right here in the portal in stack, you must set the page to use the portal theme, okay? So matter, no matter what theme you're using inside your project, this page, you go into the theme settings and you set it to use a page specific theme and set that to be portal. Okay. So here's an important concept to kind of help you remember what's portal in and what's portal out. Okay. Think of the portal theme as the actual portal. Okay. We have the portal in stack, which stuffs pages into the portal. We then have the portal out stack that pulls stuff out of the portal, right? Portal in puts content in, portal out takes content out and displays it on the page. Does that kind of make sense? Hopefully so. Let's continue on with the demo. So hopefully that made sense. Here we got our portal in stack and uh, we set our page theme to use the portal theme. Um, now this just has some simple content, right? Some text and image and some headers, right? Um, now, now portal works with any theme, but I just want to give a quick note to foundation users that you do not want to add a site styles to this page. Okay. Um, because basically you're going to want to make sure that site styles is on the page that you import this content into via the portal out stack, right? So this page should just be, uh, purely the content that you want to import. Don't have any site styles or font pro or any other stacks like that, right? Now, if you are using foundation, um, I did add a nice little edit mode gift in here uh, for you so that all the foundation stacks will uh, kind of work properly and be themed properly at least. You won't get all your color styles that you have from site styles, but at least you'll have, um, everything will still work properly inside edit mode, okay? So that's a nice little gift for foundation users, but again, portal will work with any theme. So if we jump over to the portal out page, um, this is, basically where we are going to import that content into it, right? So here I have some local page content and here I have the portal out stack. Essentially, all we need to do in the portal out settings is click on the page and then we're gonna set the link. And then basically we're gonna navigate to the page inside RapidWeaver and say set link and that's it, right? So you're gonna point the portal out stack to where the portal in page is okay, or the page that you wanna import. And when you publish this page, it will work 100%, um, you know, once you've published, okay? Now you'll notice that there is a total CMS setting. This does require that you have total CMS two. As of this recording, total CMS two has not been released. So you will not be able to use that setting until I've released total CMS two. Uh, and more on how all of that works uh, when the time comes. So we said that Portal does all of its includes on the server side. However, we can get things to work inside RapidWeaver, okay? And let's just show you, I'm gonna show you how it doesn't work first. So if I preview this Portal Out page, we'll see that 
magically where this import content it's blank. Like what in the world? I I'm, I was expecting an import to happen. Well, because the way Rapid Weaver works essentially is Rapid Weaver caches content, and because I've never previewed this portal in page, right? So if I preview this portal in page, okay. So here I've previewed this page. Um, now, um, if I go ahead and go to the portal out page, if I preview this now, we'll see that the portal in content now works. Okay, so it does work in RepWeaver as long as you preview the portal in page first. Okay, so a small little caveat there. If you uh, are previewing a page and you don't see the content that you were expecting, just make sure that you preview that page um, inside RepWeaver um, and then go back to your portal out page and it should work just fine. So that about does it. As you see, Portal is really easy to use. There's essentially one setting to get all of it working, right? There's a little bit of work. You got to set the page specific theme on the Portal in page. And then on the Portal out page, you just select the page and you're done, right? There's a couple caveats with getting it to preview properly in Rapweaver, but it's not rocket science there, okay? Now, what will work inside Portal? So I have using been using Portal on Weaver Space, the actual Weaver Space uh, website, um, since launch and all of the internal demos on the product pages are all imported via portal. That's important because it means that all of my stacks, every single one of them works really, really well inside portal. So that's hundreds of stacks now that work perfectly well inside portal. Now I haven't tested every stack out there, obviously. Okay. And there is probably, there may be some conflicts out there. I'm sure that there are. Um, so if you're trying something really crazy, like a don't try to import a portal in a portal, I haven't even tested that. Um, if it works, you're nuts. <laughs> but um, you know, just keep it simple, okay? Um, just you know, build what you need and import it. Things like I've tested things like you know complex sliders like Moving Box. They seem to all work very well now in Portal. It's taken me a long time to get all that working, but it works pretty well. Um, I'm really excited about it, but if you, if you hit some conflicts, let me know, uh, probably publish to a server, um, you know, and give me the URL and I can try to figure something out. Um, or, uh, you know, I can work with the other developer to see if we can get something working. Um, but I can't guarantee that everything will work. Right. Um, but like I said, all of my products work well in it. Um, and that's a really large set of stacks. So hopefully, um, everything works cool works really well for you and um if you have any issues let me know um and i uh, can't wait to see it i hope you enjoy portal i hope it helps you become a better web designer improve your workflows and obviously faster websites because we all love that so uh, we will talk to you later and i hope you enjoy portal bye